China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. The Chinese Communist Party wants the people of China to know everything is fine. You might want to stock up on some essential supplies, though, ahead of the winter, but everything is totally fine. So people are freaking out. Earlier this week, China's Ministry of Commerce released this statement, basically telling families to stock up on daily necessities in case of emergencies. Totally normal thing to say. Actually, for China, it is. The People's Daily said the ministry issues such notices every year. Every year? I don't think that's something that happens in normal countries. I guess Xi Jinping's push to turn China into a moderately prosperous society really was ambitious. But the response to this latest notice was different. One Chinese social media user said, as soon as this news came out, all the old people near me went crazy panic buying in the supermarket. I can relate. I still live in a toilet paper fort I built at the beginning of the pandemic. But why are people freaking out? More after the break. Welcome back. So why are people freaking out about the latest Chinese government memo to stock up for the winter? Well, part of it is definitely government officials telling everyone there's nothing to worry about. A Ministry of Commerce official said, based on the current situation, supply of daily necessities is sufficient and guaranteed. The Economic Daily, a Communist Party-backed newspaper, said netizens have too much of an overactive imagination. The paper said the notice was, you know, in case there's another coronavirus lockdown. <laughs> there might be more coronavirus lockdowns? The kind where police weld people into their homes. Well, yes. China is suffering from another wave of the coronavirus. In fact, after one case was discovered in Shanghai Disneyland, they shut down the entire park with everyone still in it. When the characters come to life at night, it will not be pretty. And coronavirus lockdowns are one cause of the food crisis, the way they've disrupted supply chains and spurred panic buying. But there are more reasons for the food crisis too. Over the summer, China was hit with severe flooding. And this September saw unusually heavy rains across northern China, where most of the vegetables are grown. Food prices in China are through the roof. Last week, prices of cucumbers, spinach, and broccoli had more than doubled from early October. How bad is it? Spinach costs more than pork. Spinach costs more than pork? This is the apocalypse. Or time to get a great deal on pork. State-run media have promised that Chinese authorities will release the country's vegetable reserves when needed to lower prices. But as Reuters puts it, it is not clear which vegetables China holds in reserves and how big those reserves are. By the way, China also has frozen pork reserves, because the pork must flow. Seriously. Because do not try to compete with Chinese aunties who are buying pork. They will cut you. But there have been warning signs things have not been right with China's food supply chain for a while. Earlier this year, China made a law against wasting food. And older people in China still remember food shortages from the Great Leap Forward, which ended up causing the Great Famine. They're good at reading between the lines. If the government says everything's okay with the food supply chain, now might be the time to panic. 